Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be reacting to J-Hope's new album, Jack in the Box! <laughs> I remember back when BTS announced that they were going to do solo activities that J-Hope was going to be the first one to release a project and I was so, so happy to hear that because like I said in my more reaction, like I've been waiting for J-Hope to release some sort of project for a while now so we finally have Jack in the Box the album is not that long uh, there's 10 songs on the album I reacted to two of them already uh, I'll put my reaction to more and Arson uh, in the description below but yeah we're gonna get right into it so the first song is intro I guess like just an intro to like how the album's gonna sound I guess so yeah I'll just listen to the intro then I'll get my thoughts on it before I um, continue with the rest of the album <laughs> What Zeus had kept inside the box broke loose from their confinement. All that was foul was now unleashed upon the world. Pandora, unable to undo what she had done, fell into despair. As she grieved, she heard a feeble quiver from the box. She lifted the lid once more and out fluttered a small, bright, most beautiful creature she had ever seen. It flapped its delicate wings as it danced around Pandora, lightly brushing against her shoulder. Pandora immediately felt her aches melt away, and her heart glow with warmth. It was hope that was kept in the innermost nook of the box. It trailed behind the miasma of darkness, assuaging their ill effects on humankind. Hope gave people the will to carry on living amidst the pain and strife. Alright, so just like the intro being like the story of Pandora's box, when Pandora, you know, opened the box, bad things that in the world were unleashed, but then the last thing was hope, J-Hope. <laughs> so from what I'm getting from this intro with, you know, telling the story of Pandora's box, it's going to show J-Hope and I want to say, well, of course, giving hope to people around him, but I think that's trying to imply that like I'm going to show people like what I can do in terms of like his talent and his lyricism and rap with this album. I mean that's that's just how I'm interpreting it. And now we get into Pandora's box. Sounds like a crowd of people. <laughs> This beat His voice on top of like the beat like this Jack in the box. I like how he's switching between like cadences like throughout the song. He doesn't do that a lot though. So, it didn't sound like haunting, but it did sound almost kind of like a warning as to what's to come. And he did say they called me Hope. And the way how his voice was, like, you can just tell like he was getting ready to do something. So, following the intro and then being called Pandora's Box, it's almost kind of like a slight continuation from the intro of just like, Look, this is J-Hope. The switch between his cadences. I guess that's one thing to also kind of watch out for in terms of J-Hope on songs. Like, how many cadences can he fit into one song? Because with Arson, 
and more like he had a couple different cadences just from like first listen i guess for like three different cadences or so but i'll go back and listen to it but i'm pretty sure he's gonna do that throughout the entire album all right i'm gonna skip more and i'm gonna go right to stop <coughs> Hey, this old school, A different cadence, like. I did hear like the talking parts from like, different people like in the song. Um, I don't have my headphones on, so I don't really know like what was said. I mean, I did catch uh, like a little bit of the end, like who's gonna be responsible for this. I don't have the lyrics right in front of me, so I don't know if that's supposed to relate to what J Hope is trying to talk about on the song. I mean, he kept saying stop. Uh, <laughs> I said this in my more reaction, like him when it comes to old school hip hop i think he must be a fan of like old school hip hop beats because i don't know we've just been hearing a lot of old school hip hop from j-hope so and like i said with the different cadences he's just a really talented rapper how he can experiment with different cadences like it really is a talent to have in terms of like a rapper because that means like you really do want to approach like a beat a different way than like your previous songs that you were on. I feel like just like following the beat, like it's not, it's not bad, but I don't know, I feel like it's almost kind of like just like the simple way to do things, just like, you know, just follow the beat or stay on beat. Like when rappers rap a certain way, like how they try to almost kind of rap between the beat, so to speak, like it's on beat, but I don't know, just like the way how they enunciate syllables and like how the different syllables hit like a certain point of the beat like that's what i'm trying to say and that is j-hope like j-hope does exactly that <laughs> the next song is equal sign <laughs> I'm hearing some of the layers in the beat. Okay, so I'm singing. <laughs> Wow. So the quality is you and me. <laughs> it almost kind of sounds like a sample of like an old school beat mixed with like some modern like beats. I'm looking forward to reading the lyrics of that song because I mean at the end he said equality is you and me. So I guess like he's just talking about everybody being unified him singing oh my gosh it sounded like somebody else singing i don't know if like there was somebody else on the song but they just weren't credited like almost kind of like i don't want to say secret you know how like sometimes like rappers well i'm not gonna say the rappers do it themselves it comes to, like the track listing like the people in charge of that they 
purposefully don't put who's featured on the song. Like Travis Scott has done it, 21 Savage has done it, uh, Kanye West has done it. Yeah, I don't know if there was a, another person on the song, but I mean, if that was actually J-Hope singing at that one part where like the voice was like really like higher pitch and like a higher tone, then wow, J-Hope. <laughs> this is Music Box Reflection. Is that him breathing? Like heavy breathing? Is this like an interlude? Yeah, that was just an interlude. <laughs> from like what I was hearing from there, I guess like since it's called like music box reflection and like him breathing, I guess like it's supposed to imply that like he's reflecting on himself maybe. The way how the beat was, I can see him like sitting down and pondering on his thoughts like okay where am I now and what am I gonna do from here. Like a very interesting interlude and I mean just from BTS and just when other members do like their solo things they really do pay attention to how to make like their albums cohesive and making sure that the album flows a certain way like how it'll basically you know make sense and like each song at like a certain point in the album you know deserves to be like where it is and it will mean something. The next song is What If. What if I have no hope? Well, patience? This part of the beat right here. What if I have no hope? What if I had no dream? I think it's in passion, not patience. So what if I have no passion? I mean, just like how I was talking about with the last song, like Music Box Reflection, I could sense that with the heavy breathing, like he was just like reflecting on some things. And then with this song, he was like, oh, what if I have no hope? What if I have no dream? What if I have no passion? What if I have no house? What if I have no money? It, it's very valid. You just kind of expect it from him because, you know, he is a part of the biggest boy group in music currently. So yeah, all this like, Oh, what if, what if, and you just tend to ask yourself that question. Like, I guess like, regardless of whether you are at the top in life or at the bottom in life or just living life somewhere in the middle, like you just ask a bunch of what ifs to yourself. The beats, <laughs> incoming, dem joints. I love dem joints production. Hearing his tagline on that beat, I was just like, <laughs> I've been looking forward to reading the lyrics to that one too. Introspective mindset with that. Okay, the next one is Safety Zone. Safety Zone. 
give it up. Every second, I get wet. She does it every day. In my jaws, no shame. So I'm not just tired of the one that she wants. Your tongue, you're not under control. Like a bird, I'm chasing you. Don't let me go. Oh, I'm not sure. 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 I'm
whatever's going to come next. House is already the end of the album. I mean, I definitely felt like I went on a journey though. I did. With this album, I don't know exactly why it's titled Jack in the Box, but my guess is that you know, like with a jack in the box, like how you like crank the box until the jester pops out. I guess like that was just him trying to say, not like he's been boxed in all this time, but just I'm coming with something that is special and that is very me. Well, I mean, I guess you could say it was concealed. Like the me that was concealed is now finally coming out after so long. Yeah, and that's what he explained I want to show a different side of myself and he did that with this album like it was definitely like a more brighter concept with that album but with what he's talking about he still talking about like his hope and his passion and like what he dreams of doing outside of you know j-hope the idol and just jong ho Sok as the person and with this album again like i said i don't have the lyrics in front of me i guess continuing that in terms of his dreams his hopes, what he has been quote unquote hiding from the public, I guess you could say that. The way how it sounded, like it was definitely a 180 from Hope World. I'm pretty sure people were expecting Hope World 2.0, but no, like when it comes to J Hope and just BTS as a whole, they want to showcase different sides of themselves and just challenge themselves with every release. This is definitely not Hope World 2.0. This was very consistent in terms of old school hip hop because like with his last album, I wouldn't say it was overly consistent, but it was still a good album like nonetheless. This definitely like told a story or like some sort of like journey throughout the entire album. Yeah, I, I remember, I think that's what RM said. Like RM said like, yeah, his album has some sort of like a theme. I'm just thinking at the track list right now and thinking about like what each song could be about. I didn't read the lyrics to more. I already read the lyrics to Arson, but all the other songs, he is going to push his pen with this. We see J-Hope and BTS, but j-hope solo he expresses so many thoughts when he's solo rather than when he's you know in a group with seven people it's been a long time coming with this project i hope he's happy with this i hope he's proud of himself he should be proud of himself he is such a talented artist people need to recognize like the artistry that is j-hope the lyricism that is j-hope the talents that he possesses and just who he is as an artist, like it really needs to be recognized. Overall, I enjoyed this album. Uh, I think I'm just gonna conclude my reaction here because there's a lot of different thoughts that I have running through my mind, but I can't really put it coherently into words. So I think I'm just gonna conclude it here. If you stayed until the end of this reaction, thank you so much. If you like this reaction, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, comment down below if you want to see anything else from me, comment your thoughts on this project. On that note, I am out. I'm so proud of J-Hope. I love him so much. He just deserves this. Bye!